everybody, how's it going? This is uh, going to be episode 219 for God and Gears. And so being we're in the Christmas season, I wanted to talk a little bit about the genealogy of Jesus. So I'm going to read Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. It says, The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas and his brethren. And I'm not going to read the rest of that. But the, the Greek word for generation is Genesis. That's where we get the word, you know, Genesis from the first book of the Bible. That's where that comes from. And uh, the book of the generation, we always hear that phrase. Uh, it's only in another place in the Bible, and that is in Genesis chapter 5, verse 1. So it seems symbolic because it describes the effects, you know, of the first Adam uh, on the human for, on the human race, and Jesus sometimes is called the second Adam because of what Jesus did for mankind. Skeptics have questioned uh, the historical existence of Jesus um, for years. They've been doing that. Um, they argue that you know we only have references um, from Christian sources, and so I want to give a few that are secular writings and secular people. Uh, Tactius, he, you know, he was a Roman historian. Uh, Joseph, Josephus is a Jewish historian. Uh, this is a hard one. Setunanus, another Roman historian. And Celsus, a pagan philosopher. Uh, Pliny the Younger, he was a Roman magistrate. So there's no doubt that Jesus really lived here on the earth. And, you know, our Christian belief system, it comes from... <clears throat> Jesus dying for our sins, okay? He defeated death, you know, by and with his body whenever he resurrected from the dead. So if you do read the rest of Matthew chapter 1, you know, it gives us the genealogy of Jesus. I wasn't going to read that whole thing. <clears throat> but Jesus was from Abraham, and, you know, King David's lineage, you know, and the Israelites, that was all from Abraham. Those were God's chosen people. I was talking about that a few weeks ago in the shorts about God's chosen people. Jesus had no human father. Uh, he is the only human being that didn't fall under the sin curse. All right, Jesus had a heavenly father, and it was we can talk about we we've mentioned the virgin birth before, but Luke chapter one, uh, verses thirty four and thirty five talks about the virgin birth. Uh, Mary was um, with child from the Holy Ghost. So Jesus had no sin in him. You know, without the without Jesus being in the world, we would have no Christmas. We would have no happy holidays. Uh, in fact, if Jesus didn't come to earth, we would be most miserable right now. And so imagine if the light of the world uh, never came to earth. All right, it, we, we would be in really dark times right now. We, we think things are bad, but imagine if Jesus actually never was here and we would have his light. We get our light from Jesus. We get our hope from Jesus. We have uh, and get our forgiveness from Jesus. So I just want to encourage everybody during this Christmas time, again, the Christmas season, you know, share that hope of Jesus and the love of Jesus with people. Um, it's very important. And we have the Bible. Like I said, there's so much in the Bible with, gene with uh, the genealogy and uh, where Jesus came from. And it's in also in secular writings. So share that. I hope it's an encouragement to you. Um, if you didn't know about it, you can go ahead and read Matthew chapter 1. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we're thankful for this day you've given us and all your blessings, Lord. Uh, we're thankful to be able to share your word, Lord, and the things that you bless us with, Lord. And it's so important because we see you all over the place during Christmas. And Lord, there's so many people that, that see it, but they just don't believe it. They don't, whether they choose not to, they don't care, whatever it may be. But Lord, you're around. People can see you if they're if they're looking, if they look. You, know, you don't have to look hard, but you're around. And we pray that, Lord, Christians will step up to the plate, share your word with people, and share that gift of salvation that you've given us. Thank you for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So, I have been working on the A-pillar. Not really much to see there. But, um, yeah, it's I'm working on it. So, I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll have that done here soon. I'm also still working on the garage, still doing insulation, still working on my concrete on the back side of the garage. So all is well. All right. I want to thank Stace for doing the video. 
And uh, just keep sharing Jesus with everybody and have a blessed week. We'll see you next week.